I managed to get my hands on the latest Warhammer Horus Heresy figures from Joy Toy, and today I'm going to be showcasing for you Fafnir Ran, Sigismund, and Daddy Dorn himself. My name is Angela, and you're watching Hobby Night. We are starting with Sigismund. Now, Sigismund, I'm actually really excited to open up because I know he's got the Emperor's sword and everything, and I'm actually really excited to see it. And he looks very fancy. Now, as we go on, we're going to get progressively more detailed with these because Fafnir and Daddy Dorn, they're quite large. But let's start with Sigismund. <gasps> da, 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 da. As always, love the packaging. Also, love, love, love that they are continuing to give the stands with these figures. They didn't used to do that. And while a lot of them were quite stable, not all of them were. So it's really, really nice to actually see them continuing to give these stands, which we have here. Looks great. But what we're really interested in is Sigismund himself. And oh my gosh, I love the detail on his face. Like it looks so good. The shoulders are beautiful. Oh, look at the fist. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and he actually does have the Templar emblem on his tabard, which is really cool because obviously he ends up leaving the Templars and stuff. Oh my God, I just, I this is so cool. I love, okay, I got a little bit of a detachment here. Oh, this probably attaches to one of his accessories, probably the sword. Okay, all right, we've looked at him. Ooh, okay, I'm just gonna lift his, um, sorry, I'm, we're gonna expose him, but I just wanted to look, look at the cool eagle and laurels on his like knees. Like one of the things that I think Joy Toy is really good about with these figures is they make them all actually quite unique to each other, which is fantastic. Like as we were looking at um, the entire collection that I got of these and I love, I love the backpack. I love that it says Terra on the back. There's, there's just so many little like lore details in this that are so good. But as I was saying, as I was looking at some of the other Imperial Fist Horse Heresy era figures that I got, I was noticing that all the tactical guys, outside of just having like different weapons and stuff, which is of course very cool, they also have just different decals on them. Their armor is all slightly different. They have slightly different shoulders or patterns. And that is really cool. We of course get some additional hands for Sigismund, which is great. So we can change those out. And now this is what I really want to take a look at because we have the black sword and I really like it. Oh my God, the detail is great. Ooh, let me flip it this way so we can actually read. Imperator Rex, Ugh! All right, I wanna see how easy this is. I have him fully assembled. I've given him his sword and yes, this little chain does attach to the bottom. And I think he looks amazing. The backpack attached super well. Oh, I didn't even notice the gun back here. Look at that, that's so cool. Oh, I bet it detaches. It does. I'm not gonna pull it off because I don't want to right now. He looks spectacular. I love this figure. The detail as always is fantastic. Let's go ahead and move on to Fafnir Ran. Hey guys, I just wanted to jump into the video to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, especially if you're enjoying the content that you find here. And if you're into the spicier side of the hobby, well, my only fanatics VIP page is currently 50% off through the end of the month for new subscribers. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, use the link in the video description below, and I hope to see you there. Now let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right, we're back with Fafnir Ran, and this one in particular, I'm very excited to open up, specifically because I actually have painted Fafnir Ran, and I kind of want to compare the actual Joy Toy figure to the legitimate Warhammer miniature that I've in fact painted, which you can find on the channel, by the way. So if you ever want to see that and you're into some Imperial Fist painting, that I would definitely check that out. But let's get Fafnir open up, take a look at the back of his box. He comes with a lot of accessories. Obviously he's got his big shield, which already just from what I'm seeing on the box looks amazing, but let's take him out and actually see how glorious he truly is. Okay, I love him already just because of the giant glaives, or I guess axes, are they just humongous axes? Yes, oh, look at that. Look how much stuff is in there. Look at all that's going on just alone in this packaging. Okay, let's look at him specifically. He, oh, I really, really like the way that he looks. I love 
these on his side with the eagles. I love the detail here. I actually really like the slight tint of green on the grenade. That's really, really cool. The other thing that I like is obviously he's got his accessories, his like pistol and everything on the back. I love the banner. Love that the, the, you know, backpack's already attached and everything. Great detail on his face. Like honestly, okay, let's, let's, let's look at the two of them. They did such a good job. Look at all that detail they captured. Holy heck, I painted him a little bit different. I gave him red on his uh, loin piece and they just went with a, a nice deep brown, which makes sense. And I think that's the same thing on the, oh no, the handles are the weapons actually, I did the same. Okay, let's flip him over, I wanna take a look. Okay, well I can't see his backpack super well because I've got his big shield on there. But speaking of the big shield, let's get that out because, oh, his helm's attached to it, that's so cool. And the sword, okay, does this come off? It does, but I think I need to like unhook the entire thing. Cause you can kind of see there's like a little attachment piece there. So I do think I'd have to unhook the whole thing and I don't want to really do that. I love how beautiful this blue is. And I love the details. Okay. Okay, again, I painted things with a bit more red leather than, uh, <laughs> than I guess is official, but I really like the red. So it worked out for me very, very well. But I, I really, I'm proud that what I did matches pretty closely to the cannon colors, maybe with a little bit of flair, but I really like that. The shield looks amazing. So we also have both of his axes, of course. Fantastic. I love on the weapons, the level of detail that Joy Toy goes into with these like fades and everything. It's just really, really nice. We of course then have some additional hands in the box. He's got four additional, so he can like point and he's got a closed fist. Let me get them all out. My goodness, they're slippery and tiny. But yeah, we got a couple of different hand options for him, which is great. And then we also have, I don't know what this is for, but I'm gonna figure it out as I assemble him. So I've got him together and I figured out what that weird little piece at the end that we took out was. It's actually how you attach his backpack to his shield, which is super, super cool and was confusing and took me a little while to figure out. But like, look how, awesome this figure looks. There's just so much happening. He can die chaos scum, die Xeno scum. I don't actually know who the um, executioners, I think is what his like faction ends up being. Cause doesn't he end up founding a, you guys tell me in the chat below. Cause I'm not as familiar with Fafnir as I am some of the other characters, but this is awesome. And he moves so well. All the joints are fantastic. I'm really glad I figured out what that piece is. Look how much he can bend his leg. He can kick his own ass. Bam, bam, bam. But we're not gonna have him do that. We're gonna have him stand around looking badass. And next we're gonna open up Daddy Dorn. I'm excited to open up Robledorn. When they sent me this, I mean, you guys probably saw the short. I literally dropped to my knees and held him up. All right, we've also got, oh! Robledorn, father. He's so cool. I like part of my love for this character, I just have to throw this out there real fast, is because of text-to-speech. I love Dorn's portrayal in that. And I just, he's also just a really cool character and I mean, He's the father of my first chapter. So let's take a look at what we're getting in this. A lot of really cool stuff. I also love the gold armor. He's, he just looks so regal. Now I've pre-cut everything. So hopefully getting him out of this box will be not too big of a deal. They do still make it kind of a tight fit. There we go, sliding it up. Now Dorn, much like Gilliman, is in very fancy packaging. This box is a bit more sturdy and he is in some sick, sick foam. Um, this, oh, he's gonna be glorious, like already. Oh, beautiful, look at the shine. Oh, look at his cape. Oh, his cape is so cool. I'm slightly off camera, there we go. Look at him, look at him. He's staring into your soul. He's, he's a very handsome man, honestly. He's a very, very handsome man, I love like, like all this little extra detail that they put into the chest piece to really make the armor feel exceptional and make him stand out as a 
mother trucking Primark. Like, I just love it. And they did the same thing with Dor or with um with Gilliman and everything. And I'm sure they're gonna do, I'm sure when Lionel comes out, he also is gonna be freaking fantastic. But let, let's look more at like his shoulder pieces with the big gold eagles on them. Love it. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the cape. I love the shadows. I love the gold embroidery. I like, it looks so, so slick. And I, it's actually flexible. So like you can pose it, which is gonna be really cool. Um, I wonder if it actually, if you had a strong enough wind that wouldn't knock him also over. I wonder if you could actually make it look like it was flapping if you were doing like videography of the, the action figures or something like that. But regardless, I'm loving the look of him. Now we have accessories, of course. We have his backpack, which attaches probably just like all the other ones do. Again, has some really nice, great little elements and details. Love all the riveting, love that blue. We do have, and I'm not gonna pull all of them out, but we've got several different hands. And again, he has that same filigree, which again, is just a really nice touch that really just brings the entire figure together. Now, what I am interested in is this freaking amazing looking sword, which honestly, I'm not gonna lie, gives me kind of Blood Angel vibes. <laughs> With all of the red emphasis um, over the gold emphasis, it just, it really does kind of give me Blood Angel, especially since it's a chain uh, sword. Like, I love it though. Uh, we're gonna get this into his hands very, very shortly. We also have his boulder, of course. Fancy. I do like the little, little eagle wing there. And then we also have what appear to be oh, grenades. We've got some nice fancy grenades. I don't know what kind these are as they look a little different from the green ones that we saw on Fafnir, but they are pretty rad. So let's go ahead and get him put together and we can take a look at the final figure. All right, it took a little bit of fiddling. I had to completely take off his hands and then reattach them to his arms in order to get him to hold his sword. But my goodness, look at him, he's so majestic. Okay, so one of the things that I thought was really cool and I discovered this as I was building him. <gasps> I'm gonna knock over my camera. That's one of the things I discovered. But what I actually discovered is I saw this hook on his uh, side panel here. And that is for his gun when he's holding his sword in both hands, which I thought was really, really cool. But the other thing that I noticed, the actual like rounds can be removed and you can put the cartridge back in, which is just so gosh darn cool. I absolutely love it. He is majestic. I can't wait to get him set up near Gilliman and have both of their primarchal auras just radiating off my shelf, basking me in the emperor's holy glory. It's gonna be amazing. I am really looking forward to setting these up when I move. Huge thank you to Joy Toy for sending me not only the Horus Heresy era action figures, but also the mainline 40K ones as well. I am always blown away by the quality of these action figures. So thank you very, very much. I also want to, before I head out, go ahead and thank my patrons and YouTube members for their continued to support. Without your guys' support, we would not be doing this. So thank you very, very much. I have been Angela and I hope you have a wonderful hobby night.